and good morning to the friends in faith who have gathered around their screens now. As I get my mask off here. And especially to our children uh, who are gathered in this morning, we welcome you and I invite you uh, to come and join me for a short time together here as we share a special message in a few moments. I hope you're well on this Sunday morning. I'm, I'm going to test, to test your memories just a little bit this morning. The last two weeks, we've been talking about some tools that God has given us to help each other, to help others, to fix what is broken, to bring healing where we need to be healed. I wonder if you remember those tools from the last two weeks. All right, I'll give you reminders. Two weeks ago, we talked about listening ears, that ability to listen to others, which helps us get along, which helps us repair what's broken. And last week, we talked about some very special words that we can say to each other in those moments. Those words were, I'm sorry. Even when we're angry or upset, we can say, I'm sorry. Today, our Bible story, I think, reminds us of another tool that we have to help others. It's something all of us have, but none of us can see. All of us have it, but no one can see it. Do you know what it is? Time. Time. Time is something all of us have, but, but we can't necessarily see it. But the good news is we can give it. Because we have it, we can share it. Here's one idea. It's Thanksgiving week, a good time for saying thank you to those in your life who bless you. So this week, if you have a little extra time, do something really nice for someone else. And I'll give you a very specific idea. Would you send a drawing or a picture you made to the church? You can send it in the mail or email it to us, and here's what we will do. I know that there are a lot of people who are a part of our church family who would love to see your artwork, who maybe aren't getting a whole lot of mail these days and would love to see something in the mail just from you. Some of them live alone. Some of them will be far from their families this Thanksgiving. And what I know for sure is that using your time could really brighten their days. And it would just take a little bit of your time. Can you try that this week to share some time to bless someone else? So we remember our listening ears, those magic words, I'm sorry, and the gift of time that we can share with others. Let's close our time in prayer together. We'll do a prayer clap on three. One, two, three. Dear God, thank you for your love. Thank you for the gift of time. Help us use our time to help others. Help us to be healers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <laughs>